Hey everyone, Theo Vinstra, Let's Buy Costa Rica.com and Tris Amigos Real Estate. Um, it's the middle of July and I uh, just thought I'd do this quick video to touch base. Put this right with my newsletter and uh, just let you know everything that's going on. Today I'm right here in the office. Uh, it's my office day today and uh, this, we just had a great opportunity to crack off a video for you. So uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, I've actually got some notes today and I don't always do notes, but uh, I do today. Uh, and I want to talk about the market as a whole in Costa Rica. And the market here is doing well. It's doing exceptionally well. And uh, um, it's getting harder and harder to find uh, certain things to fit. Of course, you know, as always, uh, new uh, properties come on the market. Otherwise, of course, we, we had a business in the first year, wouldn't we? So that's okay. But um, uh, what I really like seeing about the market doing well is uh, like anywhere else, whenever you sell something, there's always new investment. It creates some more jobs. And uh, uh, along with sales, uh, they tell me, uh, my contacts tell me, of course, that the rental market is also doing very well. And that's a great thing. Um, the American Airlines are already starting to add flights. I know that soon the Canadian Airlines will follow. Uh, the other day I put something on Facebook. You saw KLM landed in Liberia again. And so they're back to their routine of flying from Amsterdam into San Jose and then over here to Liberia and then back to Amsterdam. And uh, I think some of the other uh, European airlines are gonna follow suit. So that's a great thing for our area. Anyway, the market is doing very well. Um, we are finding uh, uh, the right fit, of course, for uh, a lot of people. And uh, it's nice to see them, you know, starting that portion of their life here in Costa Rica and living out their dreams the same way I do. And the same way, of course, that I hope all of you will also. Um, what's selling? Everything right across the board. I mean, we are literally selling everything right across the board. Uh, Ocean View lots uh, in our local area, we are definitely going to run out of anytime, sometime soon. There is, of course, going to be some other stuff come available. Uh, some of the uh, developers are already working on uh, some projects that have been delayed for a long, long time, or uh, some of the stages in their current developments that were never opened up, and now they're in the process of surveying and so on and so forth. So there will be some more Ocean View lots open up. Uh, Ocean View homes, um, a bunch of Ocean View lots sold. Some of those, of course, we call them, or I call them a short-term sale, it means that they're going to build a spec house on them. Um, some of them, of course, are people that are building their own house. And then some of them are long-term investors uh, that will sit on them for quite a few years and wait for the value to go up, which they will, of course, as we run out. And, uh, of course, that's a really good opportunity for people. Um, you know, if you want to park some money, out of North America in a safe country. Uh, this is the place to do it. Um, this is on a short list and uh, an ocean view lot is uh, always a good option. You don't have to maintain it. You might be in a private development, of course. Basically, all you have to do is keep the weeds down, pay some HOA fees, and uh, that's where you wanna be. So there's a few uh, things that have come up in the last uh, few uh, weeks uh, in days, um, the government's been working on some things to uh, help out when people want to come here and live. And uh, so um, shipping and residency exemptions, uh, you'll just you'll know that it's already been announced that they passed a law that they're going to drop the residency requirement if you're coming in and you're using a, an investment residency that's dropping from 200,000 to 150,000. And then, of course, when it comes to shipping, there's going to be exemptions for you bringing in one or two cars. Uh, if you're a resident or you've applied for residency, um, that you can bring them in. There's a requirement that you'll have to keep them for five years. And then the same that you can ship in your furniture um, tax-free. There's a bunch of other little things on there. Um, here's the deal. Uh, they passed this law. Now they've got to write all the rules and all the requirements and then they've got to get them implemented in the system. And I'll just give you one really quick example of how that lays out and why it might take about another year. They're pushing hard. There's a lot of, lot of details to uh, go through. And so here's an example. When you ship into Costa Rica, you not only pay uh, duty 
on the product you're shipping in, but it also includes the uh, freight cost to get it here. So are they going to exempt just the product coming in, which would be your used furniture, or are they also going to exempt the freight cost from, from duty? And those are the little things that they have to work out, and then they have to implement them. And so you just can imagine that that, that is a, a, not an insurmountable task, but it is going to take a long time. Uh, entry requirements. Uh, as of August 1st, if you uh, have your uh, um, vaccines uh, for COVID, and then of course you have your little travel card or whatever they issue you, uh, I have both my shots, uh, I have the Pfizer, and uh, but once you have that, and I believe it's under 18, um, you can come in uh, without buying the COVID insurance into Costa Rica, so that's a big deal. I'm going to put some links in the newsletter for all these things I'm talking about, okay? But uh, everything is starting to add up, and Costa Rica is just slowly opening up more and more and more. Uh, what's coming to the area, and why is that important? Okay, we've got uh, a bunch of hotels and developments coming to this area, and that means um, uh, outside of Playa del Coco, um, uh, Playa Hermosa, Playa Panama, um, and then down towards uh, uh, Playa Flamingo. And there's been a few rumors here that in Coco that they have actually signed a contract to put the marina in and they're going to put in a new pier. And of course there's some hotels coming, there's a one and only coming, uh, I believe there's a Waldorf coming, and there's some other developments coming in and around the Playa Hermosa, Playa Panama along with a, uh, just a whole variety of uh, exciting developments coming. Why is that a good thing? Well, of course, it creates you know, a lot of uh, good jobs. We now have the infrastructure to handle all that. In our area, the infrastructure is one of the best infrastructures in the country, and it's one of the reasons I like living here is because we have that. And uh, now that they have upgraded the water infrastructure and then they brought on a lot more capacity, a lot of the developments that, uh, you know, when you traveled here and they sat there empty, now they're starting to sell and people will be uh, building on them, whether it's for themselves or for spec building. And so in the next year or two, you are going to see a lot of changes happening. So that's a great thing for the area. It's a great thing for the local people. It creates a lot of jobs. Um, remember, we had uh, a lot of people come out of Nicaragua. In 2018, on top of what we already have, and uh, we could get uh, a whole bunch more again. And of course, uh, they do a lot of that labor, and so the fit is perfect um, for them and for Costa Rica, and of course for all of us. So that's pretty exciting, and uh, I think you're going to see some changes here that you'll really, really like. Why does it benefit? Of course, you know when you have a nice, healthy economy, it uh, you know, generates more jobs, you've got more stores, and then again, for us, um, there's going to be a lot more direct flights. I would be surprised that they really upgrade this airport again. They've done it like twice in a row, and they're already, gonna, they're already maxed out, and so that's pretty exciting. Um, I would think that you're going to see a lot more commuter flights uh, happening from Liberia into San Jose. And so that is going to make uh, going back and forth to Europe and a couple other destinations uh, a little bit more accessible. And so it all, it's all adding up. Uh, you know, you can either um, switch flights here and go directly home, or you can switch flights in your home market. And uh, sometimes it's just better off to do it here. Uh, gives you a little bit more accessibility. Uh, you know, with that said, and I don't have a note on this, but one of the things that I've really, really noticed here is that people that buy property here, whether it's a condo or whether it's a villa, um, some of the people do home exchange. And uh, when you put your home exchange property uh, on the market and you put Costa Rica under it, it is gone immediately. So that says a whole lot about our area. And it's a great opportunity for you to travel, and, and that kind of ties into just what I said. Uh, there's a lot more direct flights coming into both of our airports, and uh, that is just mushrooming. And uh, so, you know, it creates a really good opportunity to come down here, retire, and then do home exchange and travel all over the world from this point. So anyway, just a couple of things that I wanted to bring to line, and I'm going to, like I said, I'll put links in the newsletter. 
and uh, pick up the phone, call me anytime. You know, I've got a toll-free number. You can call me direct with any questions or you can send me an email, WhatsApp, you name it, and I do my best to get back to you. I'm going to try to add a couple more YouTube videos this week. Uh, I'm just getting caught up on a bunch of things here today, and uh, I hope to talk to each and every one of you really, really soon.